In today's video, I'm gonna make an arrangement with dahlias in a mix of sizes, shapes, and colors for a really interesting, bright, colored, textured arrangement. My name's Ellen Frost. I'm a florist. I write a weekly newsletter all about flowers, and I run an online community called Flower More for flower nerds who want more flowers in their life. One of the things we do within the community is a monthly design challenge. This month's design challenge is to make an arrangement spotlighting dahlias. Once our community members make their arrangements at home, they'll submit pictures or a video and a little description of their arrangement for our community members to provide feedback and have a discussion about. It's really a lot of fun. The arrangement that I'm gonna to make today is inspired by designers like TJ McGrath and Graham Corbett. Uh, I'm not them, but I am inspired by their arrangements where they use a lot of dahlias, like only dahlias in their arrangements. It, their arrangements really are over-stylized, but really beautiful, and they pack a punch of color. And so I'm gonna take some inspiration from them and make my own arrangement today. So the first thing I'm gonna do is choose my vessel. This is an eight inch wide white bowl. It's four inches tall, and I'm gonna use um, for my mechanics, I'm gonna use a flower frog and a chicken wire. So in a low bowl like this, the mechanics do a couple different things. The flower frog is gonna allow me to place stems straight up and down, and the chicken wire is going to give me a little bit of support when I put in flowers at an angle. So the first thing I'm gonna do is stick my flower frog and I'm going to use, this is alien tape. And what this is, is a really thick indoor outdoor tape that you can put at the bottom of your frog, like so, and it will stick to the bottom of your vase. All right, my second mechanic is a piece of chicken wire. And I'm gonna turn this into a little burrito just by hooking the ends of the chicken wire. So this is just a, a waterproof tape. You can get it at any uh, craft store. And I'm gonna use that to keep my chicken wire in place. A lot of the dahlia arrangements that you see on Instagram are front facing. So they're very packed with dahlias, but they're really front facing because they're just being used as a photo on the grid. But today I'm gonna to make my arrangement in full circle so that it looks good on all sides. And I have a lot of dahlias in a lot of different shapes and sizes. And one of the things you'll notice is that normally I would start my arrangement with a lot of foliage. Today I'm going to skip the foliage because I really want that burst of color, that pop of color. So I'm gonna start with a nice big dahlia. Orange is my favorite color, so I always tend to lean towards oranges in arrangements. And I'm gonna cut it pretty short, and I'm gonna use both the chicken wire and the frog to keep it in place. One of the tricky things about working with dahlias is that oftentimes they're front facing, so they're very flat, and that can be a little bit hard to use in arrangements, but You'll get the hang of it the more you practice, especially for these big, beautiful um, dinner plate ones. And I really wanna make sure that it's secured nice and tight in the frog. All right, so I have a few more open-faced dahlias, smaller, that I'm gonna put in next. As I'm placing my dahlias in place, I wanna be thinking about them at different heights and at different levels, um, both in depth and in height. When you're using a frog in design like this, you have to be a little more thoughtful about your placement of flowers because you have to make sure that those blooms are really getting right inside the pin. And when you run out of room in the pin on um, the frog, you can always just use your chicken wire. That's one of the good things about having two different mechanics is that you can use your chicken wire to hold things in place. All right, so I can still see the mechanics. I love how it looks, but I can still see the mechanics. So I'm gonna use a couple other flowers 
like background flowers. So these are marigolds. Marigolds are not the focus of this arrangement. So I'm gonna cut them really short and I'm gonna use them basically behind the dahlias to add some color and to cover up my mechanics. Marigolds are great because they do add a good pop of color, but they love being in the background. They're not showy enough to really be in the front of an arrangement. So they're great as background flowers. Oop, I'm gonna put a few of these in. And I'm cutting them really short so that the dahlias still are the show piece of the arrangement. All right, I've still got a little bit of room, so I'm gonna put a few pieces of celosia in. And this celosia, this is a really pretty champagne-y celosia, and it ties together all of these colors. You can see these oranges, pinks, yellows, they, it really ties everything together. So again, I'm gonna cut it really short and I'm gonna use it just at the edge here to cover up some mechanics and to add a little bit more background color to this arrangement. And remember when we're designing, oftentimes we're looking at an arrangement from the top down. We wanna make sure that we are taking a look at how the arrangement looks straight on as if you were sitting at a table looking at it. So I see a couple little spots that I wanna correct here. Oh, I love it. Got one more celosia, put that in right here. Got a little bit of a hole. And I have some Henry Eilers here, which is my all time favorite Rudbeckia. Uh, it's in season right now. But I'm, I thought that I might wanna use it, but now that I'm looking at the arrangement, I'm not sure that it's gonna add what I want it to. I'll try one and see. This is what, um, you know, when you're designing for yourself, design is a lot of trial and error, a lot like gardening. Uh, try things, see how it looks. If you like it, keep it. If you don't, try something else. So I love using the Rudbeckia, um, this Henry Eilers in my designs this time of year. Just not sure if I, oh, it is really cute. All right, I'm gonna put a couple in. I can't resist, they're too cute. Henry Eilers is a really fun Rudbeckia because it has these pretty quilled petals that are a lot different than most Rudbeckias. They really just look like little starbursts in your design. So when community members make their arrangements at home and they submit their photos for feedback and critique, these are some of the things that we're gonna be looking at, sort of the choice of vase, the choice of color palette, uh, the textures that they're using. We're gonna look at the proportion to, from flowers to the vase and also flowers to each other. And I think it's done. This is my Dahlia design. This is gonna be my submission for the monthly challenge within my community Flower More that spotlights Dahlia design. If you're interested, why don't you try to make an arrangement like this at home? You can either, if you have dahlias in the yard or in your garden, or if you have a farmer's market close by and it's dahlia season, you might be able to get local dahlias there. Or you might look for an online wholesaler that does American grown dahlias. Happy dahlia season. If you're looking to improve your floral design skills, find encouragement, or just join a community of like-minded flower lovers, Flower More is the place for you. Join today. There's a link in the profile to learn more.